Hi, I'm Leslie McVeigh. Welcome to a CTN member highlight. My guests today are from the Maine Senior Games, Joe Dill and Noel St. Hilaire. Hi. Hi, How are Leslie. You? Hi. Well, Thanks you're the executive us. director of Maine Senior Games, and you're on the board. Yes. And have been for a while. A couple of years, yeah. Right. Well, this is one of the annual events that people get really excited about. Tell us where it's going to be this year and and some you know details about what the games are. Well, it actually starts on June 1st. It actually starts May 31st with a luncheon. Um, the National Senior Games uh, CEO is actually coming to Maine, which is very exciting, and presenting a personal best award to one of our um, athletes who has just has an incredible story, um, Jerry Lavassa. So that kicks us off on May 31st. And then the very next day, we start with our 5K road race at Scarborough. And then it continues. The Maine Senior Games isn't just one weekend. It continues throughout the entire summer on different days. Some are on the weekdays, some are on weekends, all the way through to October 5th. So there's about 21 different days of events with about 17 different sports. Wow. Now, do people have to sign out up for this whole summer long event thing now? No, they don't have to do it now. Okay. It always makes it easier if people sign up early. But mm -hmm. if, you're, if your event is in September, most people don't sign up until you know July or August. But you can register on site. It makes it a little more difficult for us, but you can register on site. And the reason we do that, if, if someone's injured and they're nursing an ankle or an arm or something back and then they decide they can compete, we do it that way. But yes, you can go on our website and register. Mm -hmm. And it's there. It doesn't. It's not a closed event at all. It is not. Okay. It's an open event. Okay. Yes, it is. It's for anyone 45 and over, and um, out of state people are welcome as well. Really? Yes. Oh, nice. We have about 30 percent of the um, participants are from out of state, as right. far away as um, I've got someone just signed up today from New York. Terrific. So they come from everywhere. That's exciting. And w what are the events that people can sign up for? Well, I'm not sure I can remember them all, but there's archery mm -hmm. and, and bowling, can, both candle pin and 10 pin bowling. There is cycling, there's uh, team basketball for men and for women, um, men's softball, um, racquetball, there is tennis, there is table tennis, there is swimming, there is pickleball. Uh, I just found out about that the other day. 5K <laughs> road race, 10K road race, triathlon. Mm -hmm. So I hope I've I think you did, yeah. Horseshoes, maybe, uh, horseshoes. And, and archery. Oh, Everybody my goodness. Archery, yeah. Yeah, horseshoes, yes. So, there's, so uh, there's 17 different sports. And the event sites are throughout the area. Yes, they, they are. They're, um, the furthest south is in Kennebunkport. That's the cycling. And then archery is up in uh, North Yarmouth oh, at, okay. at an archery. So it's all place. southern Maine. Pretty um, much, pretty much southern right. Maine, yes. And will the cycling be uh, a distance thing, will, or will it be around a track? No, or? it's distance. It's, mm -hmm. They have a, uh, two time trials, which are five and ten, and it's all on time. So you go one at a time, and you're not competing. You are competing against everybody else, but you're not, run, you're not cycling at the same time. Right. The, 10, uh, the 20K and the 40K is, is not a track. It's on the road, but it's, uh, that's, you all go together. Now, our, our athletes here, in, the, in Maine anyway, I don't know about the ones coming from out of state, but they're not just someone who just decides to go out and do this. You've got serious athletes who participate year after year in, in the Maine Senior Games. We do. We have the, what we call the elite athletes. And you think of the elite athletes as someone, you know, in their 20s and mm -hmm. they're, you know, the basketball superstar, but we have elite athletes. Um, we just had a gentleman come back from nationals, and he won seven uh, medals and two broke two national records. Right. And he's in his 70s, so he's the he's an elite athlete for his age group. And we do have those people that just come in and want to try it for the first time, mm -hmm. and they get hooked. So and it's so. more about for for those people that are an elite, just to be able to have fun, be able to come out, have fun mm -hmm. with their friends, be able to see people that maybe they don't see throughout the year, but they can see during the games. And um, Joe had started to mention we have the 5K on, on June 1st, and we also have Explore Track and Field Day the same day, immediately following the 5K. Um, we're going to have opening ceremonies because, again, Nationals is going to be here, which is a big deal for us. So we're, we're hoping that we get a lot of folks that maybe don't know about Maine Senior Games to be able to come out, explore track and field. It's not a competition, so they can literally just talk with coaches, try out different sports, and see if it's anything that they would like to do. And the more people who know about it from out of state, 
might plan their summer vacation to come here and be part of and the they games. Do. Right, Joe? A lot of them yeah. do. Yeah. Many of the many of the out of state folks have a tie to Maine, whether it's they went to summer camp mm -hmm. here, their daughters in college or or whatever. They there's most of them have some kind of tie to Maine, which is really nice. Yeah. Really nice. And and as you said, um, the idea that someone may not be an athlete but just wants to challenge themselves um, at a certain time in their life where they maybe haven't done this before. This right. is a great opportunity to, to get out there. Absolutely, to have the benefits of, of being healthy and being fit. Um, not only can it be fun, but it, as long as it, you know, it can, can help you not only just with any sort of medical issues that you may have as you're getting older, but also brain health that helps you when you exercise. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times we used to think about it just, you know, sort of you exercise to lose weight. And we want people to think about it as as they get older to continue to stay fit. It's a it's a way of life. It's a it's a lifestyle. Um, mm -hmm. And this is Maine Senior Games is just a vehicle that they can they can do that. Right. And and not to let you your ailments or injuries get the right. better of you and realize that there is there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You can keep going. Right. Yeah. I think it's great. So what are the, some of the most popular events that you have? Uh, the um, men's and women's basketball are are extremely pro popular. Mm -hmm. We have quite a few teams and a lot of out of state teams and track and field is extremely popular. And believe it or not, candle pin bowling is one of the biggest ones. When I first started out, we had like seven competitors, and I think last year we had like 48. So it, it's, it's getting so hot on yeah. all, for it's, all ages. It's That's getting, one of the It's, one it's of the moving. Things. And then a great way to get into it is to volunteer first. Mm -hmm. and, and then you find yourself, wow, I can do this. Yeah. You hate sitting on the sidelines. Yeah, you want to get in there I can and do be this. Yes, yes, yes. So how do people get involved? How do they sign up? Can they? Can anyone come to the luncheon with the national um, representative here? Yes, absolutely. So um, tell us they what can, we can They do. can call me at 396-6519, mm -hmm. or um, to find out more information about the games, it's, um, our website is www.maine, the state, M-A-I-N-E, S-R, games.org. Terrific. Yeah. Well, thank you. I hope it's the biggest turnout ever. And I'm recovering from knee replacement and won't be doing it this year, but I'm getting back maybe in the swing. Nice. So maybe nice. next year. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.